Hey, it's Nick, and I'm here to talk about stored procedures using PLSQL in an Oracle database. What we're looking at right now is just a ERD for a video store's rental checkout system. To be, these are the tables that are in the database right now. And this is a stored procedure that I wrote. When you create a stored procedure, it's saved in the database. And a stored procedure is just a small program that gets stored in the database. And unlike a trigger um, that, gets, that happens automatically, a stored procedure is called by applications code or by a trigger. And in this one, what we want to do is simulate a user checking out a video and we're going to pass in some values to this procedure and have some things happen in the database now this isn't a full implementation of what we would probably want to happen if a customer was to check out a video because we're not actually passing in uh, the video number and due dates and that kind of stuff to in, into this procedure what we're going to pass in is just the membership number and that membership number is going to be used to query one of the tables in our database to make sure that that member is already a member in there in our database if they're not we're going to get a little output that says that member doesn't exist but if they are, then we're going to jump into this part of the code and do a couple things. But first of all, we have a couple of variables up here that we're going to use throughout the code. We want to store that membership number or the, the count of the membership numbers. Because the membership number is a primary key in the membership table and when we search for this particular key that gets passed in we should find this count should return one which will get stored in here if that member is found if they're not found then it's gonna stay zero and this little if is just gonna is not gonna be true and we're gonna jump to this else so that's what this is doing here just making sure that member is in our table and then we're going to say if the, if they are in there let's show them what their balance is okay member one two three your balance is this and also insert into the rental table this rent num sequence we already created this sequence which is going to create increment values for us every time we want to use it because this rent num that's what this value is going to be passed, the column that this value is going to be passed into is a primary key. We want that to be a unique primary key. And the system date, the, the date of the rental, and that member's number. So that's just a small piece of information that's going to get stored in this rental table. And it would be used later on in the detail rental table, this rent num, which ties into a few other things to give us a, a better picture of what the person is has rented and so on but again I'm keeping it simple here and just showing you some of the power of using a stored procedure so let's test this code we've yeah first of all we've already got you can see in our procedures we have a few of them in here the one that we're looking at is PRC new rental which this is the code that we just looked at and I wrote a test over here to test our procedure and I've got some PLSQL stuff here to just show us some information about what's going on after I run this script so let's run this script and look at it first of all we're gonna see the output of running this particular query. We're going to find all the membership numbers that are 102 or 20,000. 20,000 is not in the table, but 102 is. 
and that member's balance is 11. So the next thing we do is select all from rental where membership number is 102 or membership number is 20,000. And we can see that, again, 20,000 is not in there, but member 102 already has a video out. Now we're going to call our function with the membership number 102. It's going to tell us that that member's balance is $11. And it's also going to update the rental table, which we'll look at in one second. But the, we're going to call the, that stored procedure again with 20,000. And we know that that's not in there, so it's just going to spit out at us. Member does not exist. Then we're going to run the same query that we ran at the top again. And we're going to see that, indeed, a new record was added to the rental table can see here we only had one record for member 102 and now we have a new record for them this is a unique number here that our sequence created for us this is today's date and time and it's associated with this member so that concludes a quick overview of what a stored procedure can do thanks for watching